Hey guys, I have a very exciting announcement. I have someone coming over to share the news and uh, I think that's him right now. Nick, I want you to feel right at home, get it? The bear? What is going on guys, Will here, welcome to the video. I am headed to Texas for the next couple of days for a very big and special announcement that I will talk about when I get there. I am super excited because I have been waiting for this trip literally for the past couple months and I cannot believe that it's finally here. So I really don't know what's gonna happen over the next couple of days, but you know, I know it's gonna be epic. So I'm just gonna bring my camera and bring you guys along the entire journey with me. I am absolutely starving, so I went to get a burger, brought it back to the room. I am just a cheap and easy date. So I've always been under the impression that a burger is a piece of meat between buns with some other things on it, but apparently it is much, much, much more than that to a lot of you. So I greatly offended many of you when I did not get Whataburger last time I was in Texas, and I offended a lot of you when I did not love In-N-Out. And I totally get it. Sometimes it's easier to be faithful to a restaurant than it is to a woman. So here we are and I am excited. So I know I did not order in and out the right way when I had it apparently. So instead of me saying how I wanted it, I just told the man, how do you want me? So I got, uh, actually not even really sure what I got. I think it was like a jalapeno cheddar burger done all the way. Not sure what that means. And hopefully that means a lot of sauce on it. Um, got a large fries I was picking out in the car. And look at the size of this jug. It's actually huge, so a large drink. Got some spicy ketchup, I like the sounds of that. And let's get into this thing. So I am excited, the, the wrapping is kind of cool. And take a look at this magnificent beast. It looks big, it looks juicy, and it looks like it could get messy, which is what I am all about. Oh my God, you gotta use two hands. I love when the meat makes you use two hands, so. You can smell that lettuce, smell that pickle. Okay, here we go. Good little tasty taste. Beef. I approve of that bun. The bun is wet and very accepting of my fingers. And there is that, that jalapeno there's just enough in there. There's not too much that's gonna send you running away. It has a nice zing to it. And that patty tastes like it's only from the best of cows. I actually really do like this. Nothing is doing too much of the work. However, I will say it does not dunk on all the other burgers I've had in my life. It just tastes like a really, really good Sunday backyard barbecue burger, which is still a good thing. It's not making me like really like, you know, re-examine my reality in any way. I say it's a solid, solid offering. It is very big. Everything's bigger in Texas. The fries I like, the best way to describe the fries to me is that it's kind of like, a slightly kind of like softer, more malleable McDonald's fry and slightly less salty. So I actually like these quite a lot. I will say, I do enjoy this more than In-N-Out. You know, it's, it's good. Pickles there, jalapeno. The cheese is good. I would probably give it, I'm gonna give this a 7.75 7 out of 10. Now I was entrusted with the big company car. I'm usually tossed into the trunk of one of these things with a pillowcase over my head, but I actually get to drive it for the weekend. So now it's time to head to the HQ, which is about a 10 minute drive. Starting route to Bear Performance Nutrition. Scott, Scott. So we're with Scott. I'm about to get cracked for the first time in my life. That's right. 
and I'm a little bit worried about it. That's fine. Right. That's yeah. all right. This is the first time. It's my first time too, so we'll, we'll take this together. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. See, it already started to go yeah. boiling. First time right now. I like it. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, man. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Appreciate you. Cracking is where it's at. <laughs> Can we get um, a dozen of the world famous Ron Rock sure, glazed? Mm -hmm. And then can we get one of the Texas sized glazed? Texas glazed? So this is what happens when I when I show up. Man, these are good. They never get old. They're so good. There's such a different approach. To these donuts more than any other donut I've ever had. Oh man. Nothing rivals the satisfaction of sinking your teeth into a glazed donut. God. So Nick hasn't had a donut in months because he's too busy running miles. When I come down, you're gonna have you're gonna have a couple? I'm uh I'm gonna take a little bite out of this one right here. It's it's like you know when you go to a carnival and you yeah. smell funnel cakes? Yeah. There's definitely a novelty component to these ones. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening? What are you it's like, it's like literally this explosion. Mm -hmm. flavor. I can feel my toes. Yeah. That was wild. I'm gonna try Kalachi. Try Kalachi. So this is only a Texas thing? I think they're all over the place. Yeah. Oh, it's a yeah, big wiener. <laughs> there you go. It tastes like a, a leveled up ballpark hot dog. It's got some kick to it too. Really good. We have the Tenny. It is barbacoa, grilled pineapple, tojita, pickled onion, cilantro, sour cream, on flour. Oh man. Okay, so we had some donuts and now we're outside and we have a taco food truck. So I was asked before I got here to build my perfect taco. I didn't really understand why, but now I do. Yeah, so I just ordered pretty much the whole menu, which is what I normally do, and we're gonna see how it tastes. Ooh, that looks pretty right there. That looks pretty, man. I feel like after by the time I leave and I head back to Canada, I'm no longer gonna look like a Gymshark athlete. I'm just gonna be looking like a gamer YouTube channel. I'm gonna be eating so much food, donuts, tacos, pizza last night, what a burger, and a lot more food to come. Okay, so just wrapped up a taco lunch. What would you give the 10 out of 10? Honestly, I will confidently say 9.8. That 9 .8. was 9.8. Why not the 10? Because there's there's always there's always some sort of room for improvement, right? If like, I give it a 10, yeah. what if I have something better? And I'm yeah. like, oh, I misjudged that. So essentially the taco has to just go one more, right? Go one more. Yeah. It had, honestly, if I were to make a taco, yeah. I would add all those same exact things. Okay. I, I saw that, because yeah. you didn't know we were doing that. I had no idea. They told me what they put in it today. Yeah. And I was like, if I made a taco, I'd put all those same things in. Cojita cheese, pickled onions, cilantro, mm -hmm. barbacoa, yeah. flour tortilla, Pineapple. What the hell? Yeah. Doesn't get any better than that. Can't go wrong. So we're about to go and shoot some VPN um, athlete videos and let the talkers digest before the gym and I'll show you a sneak peek of that. Here's what's about to go down, Will. I'm about to blindfold you. I did not take you as this type of guy, Nick. Never again. Never again. I'm about to blindfold you and what you're gonna have to do is distinguished between four of BPN products. Oh, okay. Product name and flavor. We will clear your palate in between each product. If you get each four products right, that is correct, product name and flavor, you will be awarded a BPN sponsorship opportunity. Okay, so we are in the gym, back from shooting some BPN videos, and I'm about to take uh, Clink and Nick through a chest and back superset workout. Last time, he took me through shoulders and arms, so I'm about to kick his ass this time. And <laughs> so with that said, we're gonna hop into the first thing, which is a superset incline dumbbell press. Three sets of this, go we'll hard on just three sets. Superset, lap hold down, 10 to 12 reps. Sweet. Let's go.
sense at all. It's just like one set done, on to the next. Just non-stop, especially out of play. Endurance. Texas brings the heat. Like they're almost done exercise too. And I'm just starting. So. Feel good. Feel fast. This feels like CrossFit too. This looks like a guy trying to actively lose muscle. He's just pec deck flying almost the entire machine. And he's trying to lose muscle. I love strength training. When I'm in a room with people who love strength training, you can't hold me back. It's full set. <laughs> we'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. <laughs> this is definitely a wake up call to be doing some cardio. Oh my god. <laughs> Burnout time. Push up, pull up. Great. Oh. Max set, strict pull-ups, yeah. right into max reps push-ups. Okay, so that was the chest and back workout. Super intense, super quick. Like we literally went through that whole entire thing in like 35 minutes, which would typically take me an hour and 20. The guys are just absolute animals. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel, shower up, and then head out to a, apparently a pretty epic dinner. Can't get much more Texas than that. Okay, so it's day number two. We're at Bass Pro Shops because we're about to go skeet shooting, so we had to get ammo, and then Nick wanted to get uh, a flannel for the Instagram no pictures. Point. Well, because Megan showed up in the complete fit. Yeah. Didn't want her to feel left out. Thank you, Nick. So I went with this nice, you guys can see this. This is a nice flannel. Look at, look at this kit right now. Look at these shoes. You look like a, you look like quite the sharpshooter, I will say. <laughs> So we're in Bucky's right now, and I've never been overwhelmed by being in a gas station before until right now. There's literally so much stuff. You can get barbecue, you can get tacos, there's a bakery, there's clothes, there's furniture, and then there's like the regular stuff that I'm used to at the very back end of chocolate bars and drinks. It's, it's crazy here. Okay, so I ended up getting a barbecue turkey sandwich and a brisket egg taco and a coffee, and they just go together like like wine and cheese. So, gonna get into the top, uh, let's go into the turkey sandwich first. I mean, I'm not expecting much, because it's a gas station. Dude, don't judge it before you try it. Yeah, I feel like barbecue sauce is a lot, it's like a, it's like a woman. Because like if, it's, like if it's too sweet, it's hiding something. Well, that's good. Very, very, it's like, you don't even need to use teeth. The bun is great too. Now let's try the, the taco. So this one's brisket and egg. So normally at a gas station, I'd be expecting like a pigeon egg. That's not, actually, not real chicken egg. The brisket tacos are actually like one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Those are better. Very beefy, meat forward. It's the south in your mouth. Can't go wrong. South. Take a look at this horse though. It's like a hybrid of a horse and a cow. It's like a mythical creature. Beautiful thing though. I've always been told I'm hung like a horse. So it's nice to actually meet one. Oh my god, the vascularity on those legs. Leg extensions to failure. This is like Texas golfing. So we're gonna go to like a bunch of different stations, aka holes, and then you're just shooting a target. Which sounds pretty fun. So it's just golfing with a little bit more noise. So we're gonna be shooting the Remington 870 12 gauge shotgun. 
because I tend to shoot a bit early. Uh -huh. So like, is like the timing, how do you do the timing for it? Wait till it like reaches like peak. Yeah. It'll take a few to find it out. Yeah. You can watch me, but wait till it like reaches its peak and it'll lob for a little bit and then hit it. Pull! Pull! Fuck! I was a pretty wicked Halo player, so I think I'm gonna be pretty good here. <laughs> I'm telling you, once you get one, you'll be good, you'll be spot on. So Will's up now. I'm yeah, feeling good. Well Like throwing it off. <laughs> yeah, I suck. But I'm Canadian, so I have an excuse. Nick has no excuse. Uh, I found him out there. Oh. So we just found out the first shotgun was not really meant for outside. It's more of like a living room piece for your house, right? It's not very, not much range. It's, it's more so to, if someone's running into your house when you're sleeping, you can blow a hole through their chest. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that was pretty much why we didn't hit a target other than Yuli. So now we're gonna have a new guns. Whoa. There you go. Fuck you! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you skipped it like he did. I feel accomplished. I came in just wanting to get one, and I did that, so successful trip. Okay, so we finished shooting, and now we're at Miller's Barbecue. I got the brisket sandwich with pickles, onions, and barbecue sauce. I feel like it's just been never-ending meat this trip. I'll tell you what, that is a nice bark on the outside of that brisket. <laughs> now, how do you compare that to the Bucky's brisket you just had? <laughs> that was like, I didn't want to bash them, but this is not even close. This is better? Way better, yeah. way better. This is like 4.7 stars on Google, 2,500 <laughs> reviews, and I can see why. Protein and caffeine, <laughs> two things you need in life, Two things you're that's, gonna find that's here. Literally on the wall over there. Right? I know. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's why I yeah. said it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys have made it to this part of the video, I think you guys know by now what the special news is, and that is, I am officially part of the Bear Performance Nutrition family, and. I have not been this excited about something in a very long time, having a blast of a weekend. And it all started, you know, actually a while ago, I watched Nick for, since the beginning, when he started YouTube, like a couple thousand followers. And then I came to meet him in May, saw the HQ, saw like the team that he had behind him. It's just a family down here. And I tried the products and I was blown away. It's, it's unparalleled. It's like, if you were to have Halo Top ice cream for your whole entire life, and then you finally get given a pint of Ben and Jerry's, you take a bite, you're like, what have you been missing? That's literally, the, this stuff, it's it's amazing, it's it's again, it's unparalleled. And you know, when I had it, I'm just passionate about everything, I'm passionate about the direction. It's just, it's stars aligned. So, you know, I encourage you guys to pick some up using my code TENNY for 10% off. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. Pick something up and let me know what you think. So if you do end up getting some BPM products, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the TENNY pre-workout elixir. So starting off, you're gonna get the base, which is some pink lemonade flight, tastes amazing. So a full scoop, we don't do half scoops around here. Even a heap scoop if you want to. Heap scoop, right in. And then to kind of go with the lemonade kind of vibe, we're gonna go with some blackberry lemonade endo pump for the crazy pumps again. We only do, we only really do heap scoops. So big kind of hill of that, right in. And then we're gonna go in with some red. So reds has actually an ingredient in it called spectra which helps increase nitric oxide production so a full scoop of that and this kind of works so well with the other ingredients so crazy pump I'm gonna go in and then last but not least i'm back on creatine so five grams for life and you should be too so that is my pre-workout elixir highly recommend this flavor combination in particular it's amazing you'll be taking this when you read a book it's that good so i'm gonna shake this up and we're gonna be hitting some shoulders and arms Probably won't show you guys that because the video is probably getting pretty long. And yeah, try this stuff out. Won't be disappointed. 
just got back from what I would like to say was the best meal I've ever had in my entire life. And I think today, for the first time, was my first ever accidental 10K. Like the amount of food that I ate today and just the past two days is disgusting. I can feel an extra jiggle to my step, which is a little bit daunting heading home, but uh, just back to the egg whites and Greek yogurt it is. So that was the trip down to Texas and it was amazing. It was a very special trip. Um, I'm sorry if this video feels like it was all over the place. Uh, I just kind of picked up the camera work where, where I could have and I kind of just wanted to just enjoy the moment. So, you know, it was an absolute honor to be here. You know, growing up, uh, looking up to Nick and then now him, you know, trusting me to represent his brand, his name, it's special. It's really cool and it just feels really, really good. Uh, the team is amazing. They welcomed me with open arms and I just feel part of the family right now. And it's day number one, um, truly amazing. And uh, yeah, it just, it's, it feels, it feels really good. Sometimes you can't help but smile. And you know, I just want to thank you guys because if it wasn't for you uh, watching me every Thursday and every Sunday, I would not be here doing what I'm doing. So thank you. I appreciate you more than you know. So I got a very, very early flight tomorrow, so I gotta get to bed right now. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.